This is the Cholo News Report for Wednesday 15, May 2019. Fijian Prime Minister Frank Bingham asks developed nations, especially the United States, to help fight climate change to prevent the current crisis from escalating into total chaos. Frank Bingham who was addressing the third Climate Action Pacific Partnership Conference in Suva, said Pacific Island countries and many other vulnerable and developing countries would need creative, blended financing to help limit global warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. While we are a vulnerable people, we will continue to show that, when armed with the proper resources, we are adaptable, inventive, and determined. Two Saudi Aramco oil pumping stations are attacked in an apparent drone strike according to Saudi Arabia's energy ministry. The stations are linked to a pipeline transporting oil from the eastern fields to the western coast port of Yambu on the Red Sea. Spanish media, citing government sources, said Spain is concerned it could be dragged to an unwanted conflict as a result of the crisis between Washington and Tehran surrounding the unraveling nuclear deal. A 7.5 mm quake rattles New Ireland, Papua New Guinea. Police sergeant Frank Killor says that the quake was very, very violent but no immediate reports of major damages or casualties have been reported. A tsunami alert is issued by the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. The shallow quake hit about 50 kilometers offshore from Rabaul, triggering violent shaking and widespread panic. It triggered an initial tsunami warning, though local officials said no, waves were observed nor any casualties yet reported, with a full assessment of damage, not possible until daybreak. The MP for Namatane, Walter Schnorbelt, says preliminary reports from his district indicate the violent shaking caused numerous houses in Kanoagal subdistrict to fall over. United States Secretary of State Mike Pompeo meets Russian President Vladimir Putin and warns Russia to not interfere in the 2020 United States presidential election. At a wide-ranging news conference, Pompeo said the two spoke about the question of interference in our domestic affairs, adding that Russia now has a chance to prove that these types of activities are a thing of the past. Pompeo is also slated to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin during his visit to Sorky, the Black Sea resort that hosted the 2014 Winter Olympics. Describing talks that went on for well over an hour, Lavrov said they held negotiations on a variety of pressing global issues, from Venezuela, the Korean Peninsula and Iran, as well as Ukraine, Syria and Afghanistan. Putin said his May 3rd phone call with Trump created the impression that the president intends to restore Russian American connections and contacts to resolve joint issues that present mutual interests. Pompeo said Tuesday at a news conference after three hours of talks with Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov that interference in American elections is unacceptable, and if the Russians were engaged in that in 2020 it would put our relationship in an even worse place than it has been. Former New York Congressman Anthony Weiner is released from a halfway house in the Bronx, completing his 21-month federal prison sentence for illicit online contact with a 15-year-old girl.